What's up? I'm Chef Mark Noguchi. My friends call me Gooch. My journey through kitchens around the world has cultivated a deep curiosity towards the people and places that produce our food. Join me as we honor our community who live aloha aina, our love of the land. Understanding my place in life came during the time that mom got sick, where I started to realize to be of service is where I'm supposed to be. And then hindsight being 2020, I realized that that's how my mother lived her life. I didn't realize that it had imprinted on me the importance of being of service. So it's not like one incident. It was this lifetime of simply doing that I finally realized that I had absorbed it. My Ohana are so blessed to know the people that we know. I'm surrounded by people that constantly challenge me to be better, to do better, to give more. That's why I love Kimi. I also have a lot of aloha for her because I know that it's not easy work, you know, operating at the tempo that she does and still trying to create and hold space for a loving family. <laughs> it was such a privilege to share time with her. It was such a privilege to share time with her mother. Because her, you know, her mom and her dad, Kimi is who she is in, in such a huge part to her. My early childhood, we lived in this super falling apart shack, but living there was just such a magical time of life because we lived a life that was just so close to nature. That type of simple living was just something that made me appreciate my surroundings. It gave me this connection that is gonna last forever where when I now go into the ocean, I never feel alone. I feel like I am in the belly of this mother that's been taking care of me and has known me at my best and my worst. It gives me a sense of belonging and that is probably what I'm most grateful for, for growing up the way I did. By the time I was 24, there was just something missing. The more that I just thought back to what was missing, the more I thought about just those early childhood days and how blissful they seemed. I was working in a restaurant at the time, but I felt no connection to what I was doing. I just felt like I was making the same food every single night, no creativity, but also I was working with ingredients every day that were imported, frozen, and felt I had no connection. They had no story. Once I just got it in my head, like that's what I needed, I couldn't let it go. It was falling in love and it just added such this quality to my life that I just knew like, this is it. When I started cooking, my entire water life ended. I paddled, I surfed and what have you, but I never really dove, seriously. Getting in the water with Kimmy, it was like one of the most amazing experiences. She breathed me through it. And she's like, okay, when you're ready, you're gonna take a deep breath, take two or three really good kicks and let yourself go. And I went all the way to the bottom came up. That was a very pivotal moment for me. It was like, I'm back in the water. It was very empowering, you know, and I think anybody can relate when you pick up a new skill and the moment where things start to connect, when the dots start to connect, it's such a good feeling. My dad was the one that opened my eyes up to adventure and most definitely to that underwater world but my mom was the one that made it all make sense. 
she was all in. And it was just that commitment to us as a family that never wavered. And I do think that it feels like it definitely runs through me. I feel like stepping into motherhood was stepping into my true power, and that's definitely because of her. What I would really want to leave for Buddy is exactly that sense of belonging. Because long after I'm gone, I don't want him to feel alone. I want him to know that the trees are his friends. I want him to know that the ocean is his mom. I want him to know that no matter where he is in the world, I'm there and he belongs. I hope Buddy realizes the hammer of parents that he has. He has the ability to have both amazing mother and father role models. With Kimmy and Justin, they're gonna allow Buddy the life to become Aina aware from now, from the time he was born. I think what Kimmy and Buddy and Justin stand for is this larger picture that you can achieve these dreams of traveling and ecology and conservation and living an exciting life together. I feel that if today were my last day, have I lived my life to the best of my abilities? I think so. Was it perfect? Absolutely not. Did I make mistakes? A bajillion. But did I live my life as well as I could? Without a doubt. And I think part of that came from mom. Woman had a lot of love, just like Kimi's mother. The best way to honor our mothers is by honoring ourselves and honoring our family. And then tack it on one step further is that I believe that Kimi and I both do our very best to honor our community because it is that very community that believes in us, which then allows us to do that Aina-based work that we believe in. So I know mom's proud. <laughs>